It's that time again, time for children's worship. We are glad you're here today. Make sure that you have some room to move around in case you want to dance as we sing. And you need your worship bulletin so you can color at the end of the lesson. Boys and girls, I wish I could see your beautiful faces. I'm Miss Rose and I'm here to welcome you to Children's Worship at Christ Community Church. I have missed seeing you all on Sunday mornings, but I am so glad that you are here. Before we begin, I have a few questions for you. You ready? Question number one. Can you worship God even if you are not in a church building? I hope you said yes because you can. Question number two. Can you worship God even if it isn't Sunday morning right now? I hope you said yes, because you can. And question number three. Can you worship God even as you watch this video? I hope you said yes, because you can. There are many ways to worship God. God is everywhere and worthy of all our praises. Today, we are going to worship God through prayer, through singing, and reading about him in the Bible. So, let's prepare our hearts to worship him gladly today. Hello, children of Christ Community Church. I'm Dave Stepp, and it's my honor to be with you, even remotely today, um, to help you in your service by praying for you now. So please join me in prayer. Lord Jesus, we come before you now and just ask for your blessing. I ask for your blessing on these kids, that the uh, lesson they learned today would be encouraging, that they would remember and be able to pay attention. I pray that the songs they sing would, be, would bring them joy, and I pray that through it all, you would give us hope in you. Help us to remember who Jesus is. Help us to remember that he died on the cross for us. And help us to have great hope that he is with us now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're here to sing another song. Um, many of you have probably heard this song. It is called the B-I-B-L-E. Do you know what that spells? That's right. Bible. Are you ready? The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E. Very good. Let's sing it one more time. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E. This is a fun one to sing because you can see how fast you can sing it. Let's sing it through one time fast. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E. Very good. 
press in the clean one time. It pulls up really slow. Ready? La B La B L E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. La B I B L E. Very good. All right. Another time and another song. Hi, everyone. Let's talk for a second about worry. Do you ever worry about anything like going to the dentist or moving or meeting new friends? We all have things that we worry about, but God tells us in his word to not worry and to not be anxious, that he cares for us, he knows our needs, and he loves us. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that in our Jesus Storybook Bible lesson, The Singer, about how much God cares for his creation and how much he takes care of of us, of his children. The song we want to introduce is Do Not Worry, so sing along with us. See the birds that are singing in the spring air. They're giving everything they need. They don't worry where their next meal will come from. They don't worry about a thing. So just look around you and try to listen to the song creation sings. And don't you worry because you're in the hands of the God who made everything. in their colorful beauty they're dressed better than a king they don't worry about what they should wear no they don't worry about a thing so just look around you and try to listen to the song creation sings and don't you worry because you're in the hands of the god who made everything because you're you're not a bird and you're you're not a flower you don't have petals or wings but there is good news you're worth so much more to the god who made everything When you worry about today or tomorrow and the storms that they might bring, try to remember that you're in the hands of the God who made everything. Try to remember that you're in the hands of the God who made every single thing. Zonda Kids presents The Jesus Storybook Bible Every story whispers his name Written by Sally Lloyd-Jones And read by David Suchet The Singer Wherever Jesus went, lots of people went too. They loved being near him. Old people, young people, all kinds of people came to see Jesus. Sick people, well people, happy people, sad people, huh, and worried people. Lots of them worrying about lots of things. What if we don't have enough food or clothes? Or suppose we run out of money? What if there isn't enough? and everything goes wrong, and we won't be all right. What then? When Jesus saw all the people, his heart was filled with love for them. 
They were like a little flock of sheep that didn't have a shepherd to take care of them. So Jesus sat them all down and he talked to them. The people sat quietly on the grassy mountainside and listened. From where they sat, they could see the blue lake glittering below them and little fishing boats coming in from a night's catch. The spring air was fresh and clear. See those birds over there, Jesus said. Everyone looked. Little sparrows were pecking at seeds along the stony path. Where did they get their food? Hmm? Perhaps they have pantries all stocked up? Cabinets full of food? Everyone laughed. Who's ever seen a bird with a bag of groceries? No, Jesus said. They don't need to worry about that, because God knows what they need, and he feeds them. And what about these wild flowers? Everyone looked. All around them flowers were growing. Anemones, daisies, and pure white lilies. Where do they get their lovely clothes? Do they make them? Or do they go to work every day so they can buy them? Or do they have closets full of clothes? Everyone laughed again. Who's ever seen a flower putting on a dress? No, Jesus said. They don't need to worry about that because God clothes them in royal robes of splendor. Not even a king is that well-dressed. Well, they had never met a king. But as they gazed out over the lake, glittering and sparkling below them, the hillsides dressed in reds, purples and golds, they felt a great burden lift from their hearts. They couldn't imagine anything more beautiful. Little flock, Jesus said, you are more important than birds, more important than flowers. The birds and the flowers don't sit and worry about things. And God doesn't want his children to worry either. God loves to look after the birds and the flowers, and he loves to look after you too. Jesus knew that God would always love and watch over the world he had made. Everything in it, birds, flowers, trees, animals, everything, and most of all, his children. Even though people had forgotten, the birds and the flowers hadn't forgotten. They still knew their song. It was the song all of God's creation had sung to him from the very beginning. It was the song people's hearts were made to sing. God made us. He loves us. He is very pleased with us. It was why Jesus had come into the world, to sing them that wonderful song, to sing it not only with his voice, but with his whole life so that God's children could remember it and join in and sing it too. Isn't it wonderful how God takes care of everything he has created, including you and me? We can trust God to look after us, and he tells us we do not have to worry. Now's the time where you think more about what did you learn about Jesus in today's story and how can you trust and depend on him. Think about questions you could ask your parents and you might also want to go back to the story or the song that Mr. and Mrs. Schaefer sang for us and hear the words more about what it means that God looks after all things. And so how much more does he look after and care for us? Now is the time for the follow me prayer. I will say a prayer and pause and you repeat after me. Of course, you can say your own prayer silently along with us if you would prefer. So let's fold our hands and bow our heads. Father God. You are awesome. Thank you, God, for making us, for loving us, and how pleased you are with us because of Jesus. Help me, God, to trust in you and to not worry. In Jesus' name I pray.
Amen. We will now close our time saying the Lord's Prayer together. You can pray along with me aloud, or you can pray quietly to yourself. The words are written on the screen for you. Let's pray as Jesus taught us to pray. So let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. We are so glad that you joined us for worship today. As you listened to the Bible story, you might have a few questions. Be sure to ask your parents these questions so they can help you understand. You can even watch the video again and ask them to reread the passage in the Bible. Then you can discuss it more as a family. You can also share with your family what you learned about God and his love for us. The video of the month has a Bible verse that you can memorize. Thank you for worshiping God today. He is glorified when his children, and that's you, gather in his name. I pray that I see you all soon. Bye-bye.
future is there your heart will be also for where your treasure is there your heart will be also for where your treasure is your heart will be also of God. 